Ladies and gents, you may now take your seats. The National Kidney and Transplant Institute has been at the forefront of renal care and organ transplantation for the past four decades. To formally open the NKTI's Ruby Anniversary Celebration, may we call on NKTI Executive Director, Dr. Rosemary Liquete, to deliver her opening remarks. To our beloved President, His Excellency Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos, just like the Phoenix, the NKTI has risen to what it is today. We have empowered our leaders, expanded our services and capacity. We will build more edifices for the future as we march on towards universal health care. We dedicate our service to the public and the country to provide the best health care services and extend opportunities to all patients in all regions, even the GIDAS, for better quality of life. We shall continue to strengthen our kidney and liver transplant program, our disease donor program, and soon to launch the lung and heart transplant programs in collaboration with the Philippine Heart Center and Lung Center of the Philippines. We truly appreciate the presence of everyone, especially the Honorable President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos for joining us in this momentous event. Mr. President, you were still young then when the NKFP was established. And now you are standing on the very ground of the former President FM's legacy. So we are very thankful for all of your support to the plans and projects of the NKTI. Kayo po ang pag-asa ng mamamayang Pilipino. You are our inspiration to do more. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat at mabuhay po tayong lahat. And now I would like to introduce Dr. Claver Porciuncula Ramos. He was the first president of the National Kidney Foundation of the Philippines. He is a foremost nephrologist of our country. Good afternoon, Mr. President, Speaker Romualdez, Dr. Guarjeri, OIC for the Department of Health, and Dr. Amikete. Good afternoon. I congratulate the National Kidney and Transplant Institute for excellent services for the past 40 years for the Filipino people. The National Kidney Institute is a gift of President Marcos to the Filipino people. It is an expression of his love for the Filipino. And in particular, it is an expression of his compassion for the Filipino with kidney disease. The National Kidney and Transplant Institute has fulfilled the wishes of the president, the father of our current president, for the Filipino people. This institute has trained 264 nephrologists in the past 40 years, who are now distributed to all regions of the Philippines, providing specialty kidney disease care. The National Kidney and Transplant Institute has provided dialysis and transplant facilities to tens of thousands of Filipinos, rich and poor alike, in the past 40 years. Congratulations, Dr. Lequete and company. Thank you. We just heard from the NKTI's first president, Dr. Claver Ramos. His life is a monument to his many decades of public service. Once again, a big hand for Dr. Ramos for laying the foundations that made possible what this prestigious hospital is today. And now, may I ask everyone to turn their attention to the LED screens on the side to witness the NKTI's transformation's journey and vision for the future.
ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome our Honorable President of the Philippines, Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Thank you all very much, uh, Yusek Berhero. Please, uh, take your seats. The uh, Speaker of the House of Representatives, uh, Speaker Martin Romualdez, uh, our newly minted DSWD Secretary, Rex Gachalian, <laughs> the Honorable Members of the House of Representatives, the NKTI Executive Director, Dr. Rose, Rose Marie Rosette Liquete, <laughs> the National Kidney Foundation of the Philippines, First President, our good family friend, Dr. Claver P. Ramos, <laughs> officials and staff of the National Kidney Transplant Institute, fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is a great day that we celebrate here today, and I greet our administrators, officials, health professionals, staff, patients, and partners of the National Kidney and Transplant Institute. A happy and meaningful <laughs> providing adequate and responsive health care services is vital to our collective goal of realizing a strong, robust, and globally competitive citizen. That was what my father, President Ferdinand E. Marcos, envisioned when he created the National Kidney Foundation of the Philippines, which began operations in 1983 and has since grown into a world-class specialized institution that is at the forefront of our battle against kidney disease. He and his administration saw the importance of building an institution that is dedicated to renal health care and management, as well as the necessity of having a lead center for renal care and organ transplantation. Now, we are reaping the fruits of their foresight and investments in our fight to uplift the conditions of Filipinos with kidney-related diseases. Let me therefore say that I am proud to have been witness to the NKTI's birth and its development. From its humble beginnings as a two-ward, 50-bed facility, the NKTI has now grown into a five-building complex with 383 beds, providing round-the-clock emergency services and state-of-the-art medical care. It's also very gratifying to see that the NKTI has become a center of innovation and excellence in various diagnostic and therapeutic procedures, complemented with world-class facilities and competent and hardworking personnel who sacrifice much to serve many Filipinos. And proof of that sacrifice and hard work are the many awards that this institution has garnered through the years and the distinction of having one of the region's most experienced surgical transplant teams and the nation's top transplant program. But more than the awards and accolades that you receive, the best fruits of your hard work and labor remain to be the patients that you have served throughout the years. Since its inception in 1983, almost 400,000 patients have been given quality renal care including transplants, dialysis, and treatment sessions, thanks to the men and women of NKTI. With the NKTI's numerous achievements, your institution stays true to its core mission of providing readily accessible medical assistance to meet the demands of our people. Your sustained excellence and compassion have also inspired hospitals and facilities around the country to follow your lead. With many deaths attributed to kidney disease in our country. It is imperative that we ensure that dialysis treatment will be readily available, accessible, and cost-effective for our fellow Filipinos. The ultimate goal is to lower the deaths and disabilities associated with kidney disease and kidney failure, especially for those who are not able to access dialysis treatment due to the high costs. It's why I am very happy that you to see that your institution has always adhered to the highest standards of quality patient care by providing affordable and timely diagnosis, prevention, treatment, and rehabilitation to your parents. 
patients. I ask your institution to continue being catalysts for universal health care by innovative solutions that decrease our country's mortality rate in kidney diseases. Let me also take this time to convey my gratitude to our hard-working hard doctors, nurses, and the personnel of the NKTI for your dedication, your competence, your expertise in providing quality renal care and alleviating the suffering of Filipinos with kidney disease. I also want to thank you for sharing the best practices, research developments, and training provided to various healthcare professionals and individuals all over the country. For all these reasons, we owe you a debt that cannot be repaid. And we will see to it that your institution gets all the help that is necessary for its advancement and its progress. I think that uh, I cannot finish without adding to that the thanks of so many Filipinos who, whose lives you saved during the pandemic. NKTI served as central, as a central, as a central uh, focus for our pandemic response and the sacrifices that were made by the men and women of NKTI have not gone unnoticed by a grateful nation. Thank you. So we are, we are committed to supporting the NKTI in all these noble endeavors. And together, I am confident that we can rise to the challenge of fighting kidney and renal disease so that our people can live better, live longer lives. Let us work to build a stronger and healthier future for this and for future Filipino generation. Once again, congratulations to, and to the NKTI, to the men and women who uh, have been the heart and soul of this institution. I wish you continued success in your endeavors for the nation and the Filipino people. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay, sa in mabuhay ang NKTI. Happy birthday, NKTI. At magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat.